Today on Dry Curl Studios, we do a high gain amp shootout between the PV JSX Joe Satriani signature head and the PV 6505 Plus. <laughs> So I would like to reiterate here that this is a high gain amp shootout. So you're not going to hear any cleans, any breakups or any like, you know, soft jazz. This is high gain geared towards metal. But I do have two sound samples for you today. The first of which is a more balanced uh, EQ type setting in drop C, whereas the second is a somewhat scooped setting in drop C sharp. <laughs>
All right, so there you go. There is the shootout, high gain amp shootout between the PV JSX Joe Satriani signature head, which yes, I know the story is that he only used the clean channel and, and, and pedals like a DS1 going through it for a sound, which is a shame because it's a great amp, and the PV 6505 Plus. And I usually get asked the question, uh, unless I mention it in a video of, what version of that is it? Uh, it's a made in USA version uh, before they moved it to China. I don't believe there's any difference in components, uh, or at least not uh, intentionally, I guess. Uh, and I think they changed things up a little bit um, for the 65052 that they now make in China. Anyway, it's at this point in the video that I like to go over kind of what I've gained from doing a shootout like this. Um, and I basically knew what I was going to get here. Um, so first and foremost, if you didn't kind of see in the, in the video, the, um, the JSX, the first sound sample here was uh, with the Ultra Channel, the second one was with the Crunch Channel. Um, but the JSX is definitely, there's a lot more high and lows into them, uh, rather than the 6505 Plus, which is notoriously dark. Um, which I find kind of works with the low and the low mids and kind of uh, doesn't put a lot of emphasis on the high mids and the highs itself. Um, so I kind of knew you would hear a, a lot of uh, high and low from the JSX and then it would sound a little darker for the uh, 6505+. Plus. But the big thing is uh, when, you are, when you're doing that, uh, if you like a lot of highs in your sounds, you're going to automatically gravitate towards the JSX. But the thing with the 6505 Plus is those low mids. If you're pairing this amp with another amp, um, even the JSX here, that's really going to fill in a lot of things. And I mean, it's not gonna be have the same effect as like a JCM 800 where that those mids are extremely focused, like the, the complete mids there. Um, but it's, it's going to give you a lot of oomph and growl in your playing. Um, even if you are just recording a 6505 plus and a 6505 plus, that just will give you a lot of low end growl um, in your playing. Now, I would be remiss if I did not mention the fact that both of these are PV amps. So uh, I did get a couple of questions because I got the JSX like over a year ago, uh, and I've basically done like one or two videos with it. Um, the reason for that is PV amps, um, except my 6505 Plus, I've been lucky with that one so far, but every single one of my PV amps, um, after about a year or so, you have to take the chassis out uh, and you have to take some contact cleaner and clean the pots. Um, what ends up happening with them, and which is really bad with my JSX, and it's starting to get there with my uh, XXX. Um, so with my JSX, when you would, uh, move the gain knob like either of the gain knobs for the ultra or crunch channel it would basically just about cut out the signal um, and same with the volumes now what's happening on my triple x is the uh the gain on the crunch channel is sort of starting to do that uh and the volume for the like over like the master volume is starting to do that a little bit uh it's a bit of a process but I mean, just clear out like a half hour um, and, you know, like let your amp, you know, settle, don't have it plugged in for a little while. Uh, and then you can just, you know, pop the chassis out and clean everything, work the uh, pots in and everything. And then you'll be perfectly fine for like a year, year and a half, maybe two years. Now, I know there's going to be people that are like, I have PV amps and they do not do that. But uh, it, it's a well-known thing and it's, I have, what, five PV amps and... Four out of the five so far I've had to do. But I love them anyway, and I'm very lucky to own all of them, just like all of the gear that I do own. Anyway, that's all I gotta say. Thanks for watching.